so i'm here with this video because i feel like it would help a lot of you guys especially my fellow depop sellers and if you haven't subscribe because i know you're watching and you're not subscribed so subscribe and hit the thumbs up okay okay so i'm gonna show you guys today how to measure clothes this is how i measure clothes i know some people measure at different points some people use certain measurements some people are really picky um i just like to use inches and a measuring tape let's get into it i'm gonna show you guys the basic stuff that i measure i don't measure everything so i'm gonna show you guys how to measure pants shorts skirts dresses or some dresses i don't measure all dresses but some dresses and also i feel like i'm forgetting something i'll probably show you guys how to measure a top because why not okay so let's get into this video i have measuring tape pink you know me pink pink all the way and then i have my measuring charts now this is my measuring charts as you can see i've already used it these are the pants and jeans section and then i have it labeled up here so jeans pants in the middle it says you're beautiful be it believe it beyond it okay but we also have the dresses section we also have a skirts section and we have a shorts section now all of them have different headers according to what i measure the stuff for and then we also have a tops one by the way i do sell these it makes my life so so much easier i just created these not too long ago i was using them personally and i found that it helped me so so much so if you guys want to support me and want to support and get your hands on these measurement charts i do sell them on my etsy shop i'll have it linked down in the description so it makes it a lot easier to write down all your measurements organize just put on a clipboard you can print as many as you want i'm gonna show you guys how i use this thing okay i'm gonna grab a pair of pants these are some vintage wranglers i'm also gonna measure some adidas pants i'm gonna measure this skirt with this baby fat striped top these yellow plaid shorts last but not least i'm gonna show you guys how to measure a dress vintage dress that i thrifted first of all i have a space here i'm gonna just name them Wrangler high-waisted jeans. I make sure it is buttoned up, zipped up, and we measure the waist. The measuring tape, measure it flat, don't stretch it out. It is about a 13. So I don't know if you guys see that, it's about 13. So I write down 13 inches flat. Of course, you just multiply everything by two to get the actual weight. Then the rise, you go from the two seam stitches that meet up here. You measure from there all the way to the top. It's 12 inches. Rise. Then the hip. Usually the hip is right below the zipper. That's where I measure and it's also the widest section of the top. So you get your tape from one end to another. This is about we'll say 21 and a half to 22 i do like to put rangers in case so 21.5 to 22 and then inseam is the measurement right here so it is all the way from where the seams meet on here on the crotch area and then you go all the way down to the pant leg so from one end all the way to the next, this is about 31 inches. Now on my sheets that I created, I also put an other section if you wanna put the pant leg, the thigh, whatever you want. And you can also have room in the middle to write certain notes for certain things while you're measuring. Like maybe you forgot a stain or something, you can just note there, take picture of stain. And that's how you measure pants. Next thing we're gonna measure are these pair of shorts. So these have a waistband measurement. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how I measure the waistband. So lay it flat, don't stretch it out. This is about 13. And this is what I do for the stretch. I lay my measuring tape flat all the way down. I go here from this end to this end at 13. I hold this end and I stretch it out. 
so it's about a three inch comfortable stretch now you don't want to stretch it all the way too much as much as you can just stretch it comfortably and that's about three inches so it goes from 13 to 16 that's a three inch difference so i note that on the other column of my shorts and i put three inches and that's for the stretch of the waistband then we're gonna go to the rise again this is the intersection of the seams you start from there go all the way up it's about 14. and then the hip is usually the widest part or below so you just go here this is about 21.5 the inseam of shorts i like to do that as well this is just the seam the stitching of where it folds and meets so from the crotch all the way down so here to here that's about six and that's all i do for shorts i have my skirt section here we have the waist hip length and other so you zip it up all the way just lay it flat the waist is one corner to another 14 and a half top to bottom is the length so top to bottom about 15 and a half and then the hip is going to be the widest section usually mid length of the mini skirt that's 20 inches there some skirts have very flowy material stretchy material i don't do the hip measurements of those just the waist and the length so FYI, all skirts are different. Now keep in mind, I do have another section here for the skirts in case you guys want to write anything there. Next up are these Adidas pants. So lay it flat, one corner to the next. That's about, it's about a 13 inch flat and the stretch. Again, lay it all the way flat, one corner to the next at 13. The difference is about a three inch comfortable stretch then rise is where all the seams meet from there to the top is 11 inch rise hip measurement stretch it out a little bit make it flat just don't pull it super hard this is about a 21 inch hip from where all the seams meet here and then you go follow the pant leg seam so there, all the way to the end is 30. Then we have a dress. So this is a vintage mini kind of bodycon dress. Dresses, we have waist, hip, length, other, and X. X is another column for other in case you guys want to customize that. So first thing we do, I do, is the pit to pit measurement. Pit to pit is from literally the pit to pit. This is also the chest measurement. So one in to another 16 and a half. 16.5. The top to bottom, the length. Some people say the length is from the top of the shoulder. Some people say the length is from the front to bottom. If a dress has a back neckline where the tag is up here then some people use that measurement from the back to the bottom as their length i always specify in my description exactly where i'm measuring for the length on dresses so i go from the front top all the way to the bottom which is about 28 and a half so you can kind of imagine where the waist goes this looks like the shortest part, the skinniest part of the dress. So you go from that end to that end is about a 15 inch waist. And then the hip, you just go a little bit down. You can see where it curves out. So you just look for the widest part and you go from one end to another. So that's about 20 inches. Now, if you ever have something that measures like in between or something, I usually just say 21 to 21.5 inches. And then I also describe the material of the fabric. If it's stretchy, if it's not. Now, this is a very stretchy fabric. I will mention that in the description. Okay, next thing we're going to measure is this beautiful baby fat Y2K top. I like to put the collar all the way down how it should be normally. 
I don't like to flip the collar up when I'm measuring the length. This is what I was talking about in the dress. Some people measure the length from the beginning of the front all the way down. Some people measure from the back all the way down. I mention it in my description where I measure. It depends, okay? I sometimes measure either or. So for this one, I'm going to measure from the back all the way to the bottom. That is about a 21 inch length. The waist I like to measure is usually right underneath a few inches from the armpits. So this is the skinniest part of the shirt. And this measurement is about, we'll say about 15 and a half. And we also have the pit to pit length. So this is the pit to pit measurement. You just go literally from pit to pit here to here that is about an 18 inch pit to pit also put an arm section for the arm inseam this is a short sleeve so it has a very tiny inseam now i wouldn't measure for short sleeves but let me show you guys for a long sleeve what i'm talking about i'm gonna use this long sleeve turtleneck that i'm also selling on my depop this is the inseam that i'm talking about so the seam of where it goes on the arm, I always measure from the underarm down. From about there, all the way down is a 19. You see this folded, you wanna make sure that you measure if it was naturally unfolded. Right here is actually stitched together, so it's supposed to be folded. If it naturally unfolds, you wanna unfold it and measure the entire length. But this is already stitched like this, is made like this. So I measure from there to there, there to there, there to there, from here to here. And this is about a 19 and a half inch. I hope you guys got a good understanding of measurements and how I measure clothes. If you really like this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up. It will help me out so, so much. I do have a Depop shop where I sell a lot of clothes i do sell like vintage y2k kind of modern baddie styles cropped cardigans halter tops you name it adidas nike i always sell stuff like that so go check it out i will link it down in the description i also want to name a few key points before i end this video that are important so first thing you want to do is you always want to lay stuff flat you always want to work on a flat surface either on the floor or on a flat table you always always want to measure on a flat surface never on your bed never on a couch never on top of other clothing make sure it's on a flat hard surface you don't have to measure every single single little detail that's another thing i want to point out because people will ask you for certain measurements if they need to so not everyone even requires measurements not even not everyone even looks at measurements so i usually always default putting measurements on pants jeans and shorts and skirts usually bottoms because me like many other people always suck at like buying online for bottoms and we want to have the exact measurement so that's usually what i measure but tops dresses i really don't measure unless it's a really complicated looking dress or a vintage dress with a big ass tag on it and it's obviously not that size so yeah thank you guys so much for watching I wish you guys luck on all your businesses, your ideas, your hustles, and just life in general. Just take it easy, all right? Talk to you guys later. Bye.